Uh, tell me a bit about yourself, who are you, what are you doing for a living, this okay. kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm a 3D animation student, mm -hmm. so I mostly work with digital art and 3D. And since I'm a student, I'm not currently working on anything for a living. Okay. And uh, why this academy? Well, I mean, what happened? What you were looking for? Why, you know, because this is a like, different academy. It's not digital, so it's a kind of classic academy, so... Yeah. So this academy offers me the foundation, the art fundamentals that pretty much um, are the base for a lot of the digital work that I do. Mm -hmm. I wanted to dive deeper into that base and that knowledge and that's why I chose this academy because I felt like while talking to you and seeing the web page it was very clear to me that you guys study very deeply those fundamentals and build on those. And I just thought that it was a great chance for me <laughs> to just come over and study. <laughs> and once, I mean, once, once you choose that, and when, when, once you decide to, to come here, that's this one thing. But then you just arrive. What do you find here? I mean, how was the day to day basic? How how was everything? I mean, it was like you expected, or? I mean, I. I had no expectations when I came here because I knew that my base and my level was uh, non-existent. So, <laughs> so I just I just walked in and I was like, okay, cool. Let me just get into like the dynamic and into the groove, let's say. And the first week, it's like I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know what what I was doing or where like how things worked, and then. During the second week, it's like I started to get it, and by the third week, everything becomes a lot more like normal in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how that's how it started for me. Yeah. Okay. Um, what did you think about the teacher? How is the methodology? How is I mean the relationship with them? I mean, it's a lot of fun, <laughs> especially, I mean, at the beginning, because I don't know a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I just go ahead and I ask very basic questions, but at the same time, I just ask them because if I, if, like, if I don't know the answer, yeah. I'd rather just ask, right? So it, there were a lot of fun moments, and the teacher, the teacher is just great. I mean, he really just focuses on okay, the step-by-step, step, the methodology, what steps are you missing? Where are you, like, getting, having less skill? Where are you, like, having more skill and how to find that balance? So then you sort of, like, start building up little by little. Okay. And uh, this little by little, what was the most difficult thing you have to do? I mean, so far. The most difficult thing for me right now. Yeah. I mean, right now it's, it has to be values. I <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's values for me right now. Okay. It was everything easy for you. I mean, from the beginning, it was like, okay, uh, the teacher is explaining the things and I do the things. Uh, that's, I mean, it's, it's easy as to follow the process or sometimes not that easy. I mean, I think I know what you're saying like at the beginning because you're so lost at least in my head I was just assuming like okay I'm just gonna go little by little and if I do something wrong let's say or if I don't follow the steps it's fine because I, I don't know anything so I'm not at like that level where I should be like I should know this or something like that but um, sometimes it's like yeah, it's about that process of like them repeating you the steps that you should be following. Because for me at least, I feel like I try different things, or like different ways of doing, it's the same step. Mm -hmm. But it's like I go around like, oh, if I do it this way, and it's like, no, with, in this way you get this, but you're missing this part. So then you're like, you have to recorrect. And that's until you sort of like get the feeling of like, oh, this is how it should feel when I'm doing it. <laughs> Okay, and uh, how is the relationship with other students? How do you feel with, I mean, here in the academy with, with them? Everyone's really nice. 
<laughs> it was really nice. Like I, I can't really think of anyone that like has any like bad intentions. I feel like everyone's really nice and everyone supports each other and pushes through like all the difficulties that come along with the learning process. So very, very welcoming. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, if you just tell me just one thing that you like like the most of from I mean from the academy teachers that make I don't know, just one thing. One thing. Yeah. I I only one thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean the 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 teacher knows a lot so I would say the teacher definitely influences a lot of like the experience mm -hmm. um, and I also really like the dynamic that there is like the way it's divided like you have live drawing and then you have cast so then you have a chance to like focus on have different goals let's say for each session so I, I like that that it's combined in a way where like you get the most out of everything Okay, and uh, who could you recommend this academy? I mean, it's for, for everyone or...? No, I mean, I wouldn't say it's for everyone. Like, I feel if you're patient and if you're constant and you persevere, then yes, I would say go ahead and come to the academy if you want to learn about the fundamentals. But it's not for everyone. I wouldn't say that it's for everyone. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And uh, how specifically is the academy helping you? Uh, in which way exactly? Okay, so the academy is helping me, I think in two ways. I think it's helping me in my practice because I start, I start to see things differently and I start to relate a lot of the fundamentals with the digital part of my uh, 3D animation sort of career. And that's really cool because I get to see the overlap between both. And then I think it, al it also helps me as, a, as an artist, let's say, because I, you learn a lot in the process about like, what does it really mean to be constant and how to find a, va a balance between that perseverance and like being okay and like not burning out pretty much I would say. Have you, have you I mean get this not burning out because uh, you're here like uh, how many hours are you here? A day. Mean, per day it depends it's between 10 and 12 hours because so, sometimes I stay yeah. behind. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit obsessive. <laughs> But yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, anything else that you want to share or I don't know? Uh, anything else I want to share? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, the, the academy... The, I mean, I think the academy is great. I really like having this chance and like being able to start getting an idea of what academic drawing is because I didn't know what it was until I came here. So I think that's, that's cool. Yeah.